Hello dear friends, glad you tuned in on me. I want to speak to you a few minutes, just a real short, brief message on the fact of Rahab and her faith. This story is found in the Old Testament in the book of Joshua. And in the uh, second chapter of Joshua, we read about, uh, about two spies that were sent into uh, Canaan to spy out the land by the Israelites. And uh, there were several different tribes in, in the land of Canaan that opposed the Israelites coming in. And so they sent those two spies in to spy out the land to see just uh, what it looked like. And uh, the Bible says that there was a harlot by the name of Rahab. And uh, they went to her house. And she said, come in, come in. And then you'll read that story in the book of of, of Joshua in the second chapter, she said, uh, uh, "Come in, we're welcome." And they said, "We want to, uh, we want to spy out the land, and before we go back, and we're going to come in and and take the land." And and uh, Rahab said, "Oh, I'll 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 uh, take care of you while you're here, and I'll I'll hide you from them who are looking for you, because she said, I believe in your God." And I know that he is a great God. He has delivered you through the Red Sea. He's all powerful, and he's going to destroy the tribes here in this land as as the Israelites move in. And so she believed in the word of God. She believed that the that uh, the God of Israel was going to come in there and move in there and take over the land. And she was in panic, and she was glad to hide them. Later on, the kings of that country sent people to her and said, Have you seen two men? And uh, he, she said, Yes, they went that way. And she pointed them to another direction. And they went off. And when they did, then she told them that they could go back after they spied out the land. And she said, Remember me. Remember me to your Lord and your God. And the Lord God remembered Rahab. She, we, we recognize that that this woman was a harlot, and yet God used her to protect two of his uh, disciples that went into uh, the land of Canaan, and he protected them. And so, praise God, the Lord protects his own, and he'll have somebody to help you. He'll find somebody to help you, dear friend, to live for Christ. He'll find someone that'll open a door for you and help you find a way to serve your God and to protect you from the hand of the enemy. Rahab was that way. Over in the book of, uh, of uh, uh, Ma- Matthew in the 10th chapter, verse 38, uh, the Lord Jesus teaches us who to fear. We're to fear God in a way that is respectful and uh, loving and devoted. The Bible Jesus said, Do not fear them which can kill the body, and that's all that they can do. But fear him who has power to cast both soul and body into hell. Yes, fear him. And so we see the the importance of fearing God. Not fearing him as we would a tyrant, but fearing him as we would a godly father. As a child would fear a godly father that loves him. And a godly father that a child loves. And so it's, it's it's a fear, but it's a fear based on love and respect and awesome, awesome devotion. And so we love God, and we fear God, and we praise God. We love Him. We love the Lord Jesus. And by faith, Rehab teaches us that God loves all of us, whoever you are right now. It really doesn't matter who you are, or where you're from, what you've done, what you are, are doing now, except that you have repented of your sin then you belong to Jesus, and your life, whatever it's been, can become a real blessing to your God. The Lord can use you, whoever you are. He used a harlot by the name of Rahab, and that Bible, the Bible teaches us that uh, her name is listed among the uh, genealogy of Jesus, and, and going back to the very first parent, and then coming through and all the way to Jesus, who was born of the tribe of Judah uh, in the human flesh. And the name of Rahab is listed in his genealogy. It's also listed over in the, uh, 
in the book of, uh, of uh, Hebrews in the 11th chapter. It says, By faith Rahab received the spies, and they were not uh, killed, but that, that this was the will of God. By faith Rahab received those spies and made a way for them to be safely protected. And so it's by faith that we live, dear friends. It's by faith that we please God. It's by faith that we look up and claim the promises. It's by faith that we obey His commands. It's by faith that we love the Word of God and we read it. It's by faith that we pray and call on the name of the Lord. It's by faith that we love and pray and support His church. It's by faith that we love God. And God will give you faith, dear friend. God will help you to do it because he blessed the life of the heart of Rahab. He'll bless your life and mine. Whoever we might be, we're safe. We're safe in the hands of Jesus. I want you to pray a brief prayer with me if you haven't prayed before and ask God to forgive you and come in your heart. Pray a prayer like this and just say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins on Calvary. I believe he rose again, and I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me live for you. Amen. God help you to pray a prayer like that, and then find you a good church and support it and worship God with his people. May the Lord bless you. May we learn from the faith of Rahab that he can save any of us. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once <clears throat> was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. May God bless you. He loves you very much, and I love you. God be with you, and let us seek to live by faith and please God. Amen and amen.